going on, you two? Got the Cadillac pulled out. Now, with the Grant 7, I sprayed this fender right here about two weeks ago. I left it outside on the grind, rain, got cold, everything. It didn't draw back, shrink, or nothing. This was two weeks ago. Look at, look at the trees in the fender. Look at that. Two weeks ago. Out here in the weather. Would you look at it? Oh, Lord. Two weeks ago. No shrinking, no drawback. Hell, not even no orange peel in there. Look at that. I don't know if you're hard to see in the fall, but look at the building. Been outside on the ground two weeks. And that's what that Grant 7 looked like. I mean, by far, it's easily beaten. Like I say, everything I've been used lately. I mean, easily. What's up? Y'all want me to get some? Holla at me. I, like, I can, like I say, I can hit Grant up. I can get you some, too. The off-the-gun greatness. The sun ain't out, man, so you really can't. Look at the finish on that bad baby. Look at the hood. Look how clear that picture is on the hood. Do you see it? Oh, Lord. Look at the picture on that hood. Like I say, man, just show y'all, man, how this clear coat lay. Clear coat lay good. Oh man, that's right on time. I call that right on time, clear coat. Ain't no sun out. Boy, do you see the finish on that? I'm telling you, man. Like, if you're the type of person that you don't like cutting and buffing or even cutting and flow coating, this will be the perfect, uh, the perfect product for you. Perfect product for you. Easy. You can spray it and walk away. Easily spray it and walk away. And I mean, I'm telling you, it flow so good out the gun. Do you see it? Sun trying to come out a little bit now. Man, look at the clarity of the picture on the hood. Look at the clarity. See, a lot of stuff when you spray it in the paint booth right then, it's wet. That's how a lot of people fool you. When you spray it in the paint booth, it's wet right then, then they take a picture. That's how you get fooled. Then the next day, it'll draw bite, dull down, whatever it is, man. But this right here, when you spray it in the paint booth, Come out the next day, it's almost the exact same. No lie. I'm telling you, this is like the best product I done used. Get at me. I can get you some. Get at Grant. He can get you some. Grant got a good product here, boy. Man, this is Nile's brother too, man. Do you see the finish on that, man? Like I already know. It looked like I done put a buff on it right now. But yeah, man. But like I say, good product, man. I'm telling you. It's out beating everything so far. Anybody want to ask questions? Hey, where you get it from? What he do? It don't matter. I don't care. This is the best thing. I First paint job I ain't have to fight with in a minute. I don't care what nobody say. That man got some good stuff. I'm rocking with it. Look at the clip. Listen, look at the trees. No, no play play. Look at that. Look at the clarity. <laughs> no. It ain't going to get no better than that, man. 
Well, actually, I could have sprayed it better than that, but you know, but look at that. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. No lie. I mean, in the fender, dirty. I don't know if you can see the dirt in there or not. I mean, it ain't been washed since I sprayed it. Two weeks ago. Now, I shot like three different clear coats over this same color. It's like, it's metallic, but it's more just a metallic. The metallic is almost like a color itself without how much metallic it is. And it laid on top of this. Man, like you wouldn't believe. Look at that. Look how clear that picture is over that thick metallic. Now these metallic is more like flakes. It ain't like regular metallic, it's like flakes. And look how I laid over it. Look how clear the picture still lives in it. Man, Grant Seven where is that, man? Grant Seven where is that? Woo, one more time, look at that hood, man. Yes, sir, yeah, man. That's some good product there, boy. I'm telling you, painters, to all my painters, man, make your job easier. Get you some of this. And what I find out, like I say, though, when you spray that first coat, and I sprayed like a, a, a second fender, too, for that green one. And um, so I tried to do like a medium weight tack coat and then come back over, and then I did that fender a super wet coat and came back over with two more wet coats. The one I did the tack coat on, it's still good, but that one laid way better with the super wet coat and I used slow on that. Uh, on this car right here, I used medium, you know what I'm saying? And it's still like, the dry time is good, excellent. I waited like 10 minutes in between, in between each coat. And I'm telling you, it was like living a lot. Now, one thing I, I will say, I hate clear coat with reducer. I do, I, for some reason, I don't like, I, I've been spraying with it for a minute. I know how to spray with it. I just don't like spraying with it because it's like, it just ain't the same the next week or so. It just don't seem like it's the same to me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really like clear coat that I have to use reducer in. So this one ain't no reducer in this one. 55, I think he said 55% solid content. And I believe it. From the rooter to the tooth. You see it, I ain't even got that. Listen, I ain't got to say nothing. You see it yourself. Look at that, man. The clarity. That's what it look like when you done cut and buff the cup. So imagine when I get right and I'm going to flow coat it. Oh my God. You see it. Grant saving, baby. We're here.